Okay, if you are familiar with my patterns, or you know that, them already a little bit, it always say make the amount of windows, and it says 11 windows. And I'm going to show you here in the drawing, 1, 2, 12 post makes an, if you see, 1, 2 post makes a window, a little square with a hole in it. And that's what we call a window. So we make 12, uh, 11 windows, which, which means um, uh, 12, uh, how you say that, double crochets with a chain in between. But I'm going to show you this how I'm doing this chainless and it's really a game changer because you will love it especially in big projects then you will see why I love it so much and it says make it in the dark pattern color A and my dark pattern color A today is the same as my nail polish orange I love orange orange and blue are so favorite of mine let me put my glasses up then I can see what I do see oh this is very close isn't it is it too close? Mm, no, it's okay. It's okay. Let me see if I do it like this. Oh, sorry about that. Is this a little bit better? I think it is, isn't it? This might be a little bit better. Then you see everything still. and You can still see everything and zoom in. Okay, so we're going to crochet five because we're going to do a chainless setup. So one. <laughs> Of course, immediately I go wrong. The first stitch, at least I didn't not, um, I didn't uh, do my not uh, mi a bit of mistake. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, here we start our first chainless window. You do over two times. Then you're going to find your first stitch and you take boat loops. See here, boat loops. So not the one that's at the bottom. And you're going to take yarn through. Yeah? Now you have one, two, three, four on your hook. You chain the first one. Only the first one. Nothing more. This is your um, single crochet. Uh, your chain between the, the double crochets. Now you're going to make these two loops. And these are important because we're going to use that stitch in the next one. There. And then the third, and then the fourth. And then we do our chain one, twice over again. See, here we're going to go into those two loops we just made. See, two loops, not one, two loops. You're going to yarn through, you chain the first one only, only the first one, and then the first two, and then the second two, 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 two. two. All the yarn and then the last one and see this makes a nice setup and easy especially if you have to do uh, a setup of 100 or, or 200 or even 300 this is easy so twice yarn over find those two loops again it's a little bit here it's after this stitch and you need to have this one and that one I hope you can see it let me move it a little bit closer maybe I should zoom in again on one let me try it mm. Mm. if I can there see zoomed in that is maybe better we keep it zoomed in then you see exactly what I'm doing see those two loops yarn through Crochet the first one only, then the second, the third, and the fourth, and again a chain one. There, see? And I forgot a chain one here. No! Oh, well, that can happen. You just take it out, and now you see it again. That's only an advantage. So, chain one, twice over, find those two loops, see? Then crochet the first one only, then the two next, then the three, and then the fourth. I always set up my work like this, always. Twice over, I'm going to show you how to recognize these two loops. This yarn is a little bit splitted because I used it. But see, these two loops, not the first one, but the second one because you want this chain for the bottom this is your chain see i'm making my chain now and now i'm creating those two loops i have to take 
for my next stitch sheet those two loops and then I make my double crochet that's it so twice yarn over find those two loops you made see here those two loops yarn through make your chain that's your sing that's your um how do you call that a chain just a chain <laughs> a loss in dutch i'm thinking in dutch today i don't know why and then you make those two loops to use in your next stitch and then you finish like a normal double crochet see so chain one twice yarn over find those two loops again you have to get those two loops yarn through chain the first one chain those two loops together to create the two loops we need to use in our next stitch then finish almost like a normal double crochet with only three on your hook chain one yarn twice over find those two loops and you think well this is too easy it is this easy and we're going to crochet the first one crochet the second one see and now the last three so the only difficult thing is find those two loops that is difficult sometimes not when you have better defined yarn this is a little bit loose but I like it it's a drops and this is also a difficult part you have don't forget to chain your first stitch see don't forget that and now you go to each two loops so only the first loop is like a chain and you only do one of the strings on your hook there see you chain the first one just only the first one then those two then the next two and then the last two and you make a single crochet and how much do we have see it goes very fast one two three five six seven eight nine and it is an advantage of this setup is it is fairly pretty I think it's not too tight see it has that stretch already you use for your whole work and if you're mistaken you know you need we going to do the chain the setup for um, row 2b you will see if you forget a stitch you can easily take one out or make an extra one and that is fantastic I also use uh, for mosaic I set up with a half double crochet chainless too because of this reason you know I, I leave a little bit yarn at the end before I cut it or I don't cut it before I make my other color and I recount count and count and um, then you can always add one or take one off okay what did we do uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine nine so again I did already chain one luckily find those two loops see these are the two we'll show it to you one and two yarn through chain the first one and now one and two take it all and three this is number 10 and this will be 11 and this is how you do a chainless setup which is so easy it is fantastic I love it in a big project you will always mark always your 10 stitches you know put a stitch marker in the 10th window and this is my 10th window I have 11 but for now it's so small that I won't do it okay I'm going to chain four already and I will tell you why one two three four these four stitches will be my first side stitch of my next row that will be row 3a in this color and then I have those stitches one two three four done why do I do this because it's more easier to secure your yarn and I don't know it's a habit of mine you don't have to do it but I do it otherwise you have to chain four at the start some people chain only three but I like the stretch on the side so I chain four 
I can't find a little loop <laughs> to put the, the stitch marker through. So secure your work. And there we got our little trellis chainless setup. See? Well, 11 windows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 windows. Easy as easy. <laughs> and easy as a P. How do you say that? Pie? Oh, P. No, I meant peas in peas and a vegetable, not, not as a pea you go to the loo. Sorry about that. And there it is. So you got your um, nice little setup trellis and it is this easy. Play it again. It is a life. It's a game changer, really. I love it so much better than a chain setup because really it has the stretch now and you can add a chair an extra window or just take one out at the end very easily and you never have to count your setup your setup chain which i found find a crime to count you know i can't count a chain i always mistake one stitch or and then you have a chain less at the end or at the front or whatever okay i hope to see you blah, 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 blah. relax on i hope to see you in my next video where are we going to do row 2b thank you